Okay, good morning, class. So at this point, we are looking at uh, exercise 9.1. We have dealt with the first theorem. Okay, the first theorem being um, the perpendicular from center to chord, bisects the chord, or bisect the from center is perpendicular to chord. Those are the theorems. We, uh, the theorem we have covered thus far. Yesterday, we've also spoken about. Catherine, why are you talking? Yesterday, we spoke about the um, angle that that is being subtended. Subtended, uh, subtended angles. Um, then we spoke about the proof, how to prove that the angle at center is twice angular circumference. Not so. And I told you for part of your homework you had to revise this. Also part of your homework was exercise 9.1, the even numbers. Was there any issues from exercise 9.1, even numbers? Yes, Michael. Exercise 9.1, number 8, and it's on page. Sorry. 279, I think. Can somebody confirm that, please? Okay. <coughs> number 8. Anything else? No, no other number other than 8, okay. So here we are told that given circle center D, normally uh, our, um, our center is normally uh, denoted with an O as the origin or the center of the circle. Yeah, it is given D. Is that the other thing that, that confused you, the D? No, okay. D is perpendicular to FG. If D is perpendicular to FG, what do we know? We know that FM is equal to MG. Cutting FG at M, FG is equal to 24. So FM is equal to 12 and MG is 12 respect, uh, respectively. In that case, and then EM is 8. That's given as 8. And MD is? X. The question is calculate the radius FD. So that's what you want to calculate. FD. Okay. But we know that FD is equal to DE, which is equal to what's this length here? 8 plus 8. X plus 8. Or 8 plus X. Why? So your radius. That's all. So yeah, I got the X plus 8. I got X and I got FM is what? 12. Why is FM 12? Perpendicular from center to chord by sets the chord. Not so. It's 12 now. Did I have to say it? Yes. Why? Because it's not stated on the diagram. Whatever is not stated on the diagram must be stated. It must be, um, be written down. Statement and reason must be given. Now, is that enough to apply the theorem of Pythagoras? Yes. So now I can say that x plus 8 squared equals x squared plus 12 squared. The reason? It's your Pythagorean theorem with angle m1 equals 90 degrees. So that's simply going to give us x squared plus 16x plus 64 equals x squared plus 144. So of course that cancels. So 16x is equal to 144 minus 64. It's 80. Is that correct? Huh? Yes. Yes. So x is equal to 5. Yes. Yeah. X equal to 5. But have you answered the question? They want to know the radius. And we denote the radius is equal to x plus 5. 8 plus 5 is? That's going to be 30 units. Is that correct? Right. Where did you go wrong, Michael? 
I was but I delete what you have. Yeah. Which is 12 units, 12 units from the same Absolutely correct. Magnetically. Which is this? Yes. Then I have FD squared equal to FM squared plus DM squared. But I never substituted F FD to be um, the F plus H. Well, did you substitute FD to me? I didn't substitute. I don't know so why. you left it as FD? Yes. Yeah, now, you see, there's now two unknowns in that equation. There's FD and there's an X that's an unknown. So, in that case, you won't be able to solve it like that. Yeah, I understand. It's squared plus 12 squared, you mean? Yeah. You see, in that case, you've got two unknowns now. So, you won't be able to solve either. Otherwise, you need another equation. And to do a simultaneous equations on it. But since... Just close your equipment. So, since... Um, so, what I do is... I set it up in such a way that I have only one unknown. You understand? Right. So there's no other problems with 9.1. So yesterday we proved the angular scene test twice angular circumference. One of these theorems are coming in in the exam. If this one comes in, it is 5 marks. If the one of yesterday comes in, it's 6 marks. So go learn the theorem for your upcoming exam. The proof of theorem 1 or the proof of theorem 2, to prove the theorem. The application is a fair game. You must get one of these. No? So if you're getting all of 9.1 right, you have, you have secured yourself another 5 or 6 marks. Okay. So this sum here is worth 5 marks like it's standing here. Yes, Michael. What is the main proof of the theorem? Ach, nee, my kind, man, how do you know? Want hou jy van gister? Ja. Ja, ja. Of die ene keer so? Dan ek op gaan. Op, 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 op. Also, die ene keer so. Want hou jy die ene keer? Ja. Plasier. Verstaan. Alright. Right, so now that brings us to the fun part of Now how much I now feel? I'm not going to make jokes with you anymore Who was that so I know whose paper to mark first? Uh, what's your name? Hey, I don't know your names. I must learn your name, no? They said it's you, yes. Oh, Nella, okay. I must write it down. Sorry? Not today. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, my word. Nelly or Nella. Ilam, okay. How do you get from Unele, Unela to Ilam? Those are Ilam, Inawe. Inawe, okay. People, what page is this on? I'll try. I'll try. Don't forget, tell me you remind me. You remind me. 282. And every day I will remind you of something you're doing wrong in your maths, okay? The atmosphere, fair game. Okay. People, here we go. Example 1. This is on page 200. And 82. The question is given circle center O with points A, P, and C on circumference of the circle, which means to say it's on the outside, on the perimeter of the circle, basically, the circumference. Now, all your circle geometry theorems and, and applications, it has to be that the points are connected either to the circumference or coming from the center, or going through the center. Does it make sense? Otherwise, if you've got just a... Okay, relax, relax. The thing is not going to come through the wall. It's fine. Sound like it's fine. Right, but this works like this. Look, listen. 
Okay, the other people outside. You sit here. Okay, so go outside. saying the driver doesn't know the car is not in the bus. <laughs> oh. People, very importantly, if this is a quad and the quad is inside that circle, not touching the circumference of the circle, it is not going to have special qualities. Not so. All the theorems that is applicable for Euclidean geometry or circle geometry, the vertices must touch the circumference of the circle or it must come from or go through the center of the circle. You guys understand? Right. Otherwise, it is just not circle geometry, it's something else. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, said, uh, saying that, we are told that A, B, and C are on circumference of the circle. We are told that angle A is 34 degrees. Oh my word! <laughs> You see, now this happens, no? When I try to remember somebody's name. <laughs> <laughs> then I forget the other things. Okay, so. Right, people, the first question is, calculate the size of a one. Angle a one. Help me out? <laughs> oh, yes, oh, not this, oh, oh, one. What do you see? Angular center is twice angular circumference. Yes. So if you look at this, CB subtended, subtending angle O1 at the center, the same arc BC is subtending that angular circumference. You should see this here. Angular center is twice angular circumference. Do you all see that? Yes. It could look like that. Or I could have taken that point there. And put it here. It's still ang angular center is twice angular circumference. Not so? Because I'm taking this point here and I'm moving it along. Can you see that? If I put that point there, it's still angular center is twice angular circumference. Can you see that? Yes. Same. I could have taken that point. Whoops, not that. Point doesn't want to play with us, eh? And put it there. Angle at center is twice angle at circumference. Wow. You see that, people? Yes? Is it because for the small triangle, the radius is double? No. Who can tell her what's the reason? Is something wrong with her? She wasn't here yesterday, maybe? We've proven the theorem is that says angle at center is twice angle at circumference. You look like we're losing you in geometry. No? I'll tell you why. Because at that first lesson I said you can leave your lift. Yeah. Do you think that's the case? No, I don't think you. Do you agree with me, Michael? Yes, that's not going to happen a lot. You are going to have a choice to leave or not to stay. The people at the state, you understand? Still not. There's something wrong with you. You understand? What don't you understand, Michael? This this question or yesterday's lesson? Oh no, this question. No, we still uh, don't worry about we're still busy with this question. Okay. But people, we proved the theorem yesterday, which says that angle at center is twice the angle at circumference. That's a theorem we proved. So if the conditions are there, which is an arc is subtending an angle at the center. That same arc is obtaining an angle at circumference. Then this angle is going to be double that angle. That's the, that's the theorem we proved. Do you guys understand? So what I'm showing you at this point is that is that if I take a circle and that is your center and there's your angular circumference. That's going to be angular center twice angular circumference. But what I showed you was 
If I took this point here and I moved it along like it, which means to say there's your angle at center and there's your angle at circumference. So that is 2x and that's still going to be x. That's all I'm showing you. Or I've taken this point here and I move it along this to there. Which means to say that angle at center is still twice the angle at circumference. There's 2x and there's x. That's all I'm showing you at this point. Yes? Sorry? What's he saying? Like that? Listen, Dolphin. I only show you things you get. Okay, but listen, this is, this is the, 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 well, once you get into it, man, you'll see how easy it is, how simple it is, okay. Also, it could look like this. There's your angle at center, and there's your angle at circumference. Can you see that? So there's this arc, this major arc, is subtending this angle at the center here. Can you see that? And there's the angle at circumference. Okay, that's all you must see for now. So let's go again from the beginning of this question. Let's read from the beginning. It says, a circle with center O with points A, B and C on the circumference of the circle with angle A being 43 degrees. So that is 43 degrees. So do you see angle at center is twice angle at Do you see this here? Right, you take your fingers, play little games with yourself, okay? Put your fingers here. You make this angle at center, you see this? You go back, and there's your angle at circumference. Makes sense. You see that people? Yes, you just put your fingers here. Nowhere else. Only here. You go. No, 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 no. And so. You see that people? That's that. So what do we get for O1? O1 is double 43. Which makes a one what? 86. And what's the reason? Angle at center equals two times angle at circumference. So what don't you understand? I, I think that sometimes in our lives, when we, when stuff is too easy, man, then we don't accept that we understand. Yeah, now this is one of those times. Okay, it's so easy, you don't want to accept it, you understand it. <laughs> right, people, let's carry on with our lives. B, or not to be, right. So remember now, this is going to be uh, 86 degrees, okay. It's now 86. Now the question is to, 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 to calculate the size of B1. How do you calculate B1, Lever? Don't touch it. Is it? <laughs> Said in the wrong message outside, somebody will pass it in there. There must be an LO plus. <laughs> <laughs> right, you want some math plus. Right, let's do this. Oh, uh, B1. Let's call it B1. Um, what do you call it? Angles opposite equal sides. Can you all see that? You say yes, what side so equal? Oh, oh, I know. Is it clicking now? <laughs> yeah. Me. Yes. Oh, yes. He's clicking for you. Why are you not clicking? Oh, Which side so equal? The o, o, C, and O, B. There we go. O, C, and O, B is equal. Absolutely. Why are they equal? Yeah, so what do we say? C1 is equal to B1. Why? Radius. Oh. No? Or radian. Now we say that C1 plus B1 plus 86 equals 180. But I want to calculate B1. So I can say twice B1 plus 86 equals 180. Reason? Sum of? Triangles and it's triangle C O B. Interior angle triangle. That then means the sum of that this is sine here 
the sum of the Greek a capital letter for S. No? Yes. Yes. Sir, yes. It's actually sides of angles opposite equal sides. Exactly. Sorry. Angles opposite equal sides. And then we say, right, you see, I would have almost lost a mark thanks to that girl. It was. <laughs> it didn't go down as a mark lost. Okay. People, why didn't I say twice C1? We're looking for B. You understand? So B1 is equal to 180 minus 86 divided by 2, which is? Sorry? 46. 7. 47. <laughs> right, you guys understand? Yes. Anybody confused? Yes. Go for it, was it Tuki Fantag? In the bag, okay. Tuki is uh, get a break today. Right? <laughs> we have any confusion here? No. no. Are you so sad? You okay? People, any confusion? No. Right. Okay, we'll do another one. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm listening. Oh, nearly. Oh, her name. Oh my word. Do I ask you, like, say the theorem of Pythagoras? No. Do I do that? Do I do that? No. So why are you doing this to me? I know Unile now. Unila. See, one at a time. Now it comes on Monday morning, then I forget <laughs> that one's name again. <laughs> but importantly, I must know the formulas. <laughs> People, this is example two. You see, the, the, the bad thing is if I remember your name now. Then I try to look for your paper first. <laughs> so you, you better anonymous here. Yeah. Yeah, so Oh, you're the one that take me for the food in the class. <laughs> People, this on page? 282. Right. So at this point, people, listen. We are given. Circle center O. You see the diagram now? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what did we say earlier on? Angle at center is twice angles. Can you see that, people? So if that is 2x, then this will be? x. That's what I was trying to show you earlier. Okay. So you have your total given circle center over points A, B, and C are the circumference of the circle. O, A is parallel to B, C. People leave lines of parallel, what do we know? Alternate angles on? Equal. Corresponding angles on? Equal. Coincident angles on? Supplement. So which means to say this angle here is equal to that angle. Why? Alternate, Alternate angles on? Lots of, and also, of course, this angle here is equal to that angle. Alternate angles on? Equal. You see that? Then it says, OB and AC, OB and AC are drawn. Angle A is 20 degrees. Prove that angle B is double angle A. But what is angle A equal to? 20. So if I can prove that B is 40, I've done the job. Not so? Make sense? If angle A is given as 20, if we can prove that angle B is 40, we've done the job. But in a show that we prove that question, I cannot use what is given to me. 
Not so. So this year, I must end off with, I can't use that in my proof. So let's go with it. They gave me angle A to be 20. Right. Remember, we must end off with angle B. Right. Which other angle is 20? We have a relationship with that angle. C. C. C is equal to? 20. Why C 20? Alternate angles. And what must we not forget? OA is parallel to BC or CB. If we use alternate corresponding and co-interior, we must mention the lines that are parallel. Okay. But now what? Which angle has a relationship with angle C? Oh yes. Not oh oh, just oh. <laughs> Not so? Why? Angle at center. There we go, double angle at circumference. You understand? So easy. Easy. So angle at center is twice angle at circumference. So what do I write? I first write O. Angle O is equal to 40 degrees. Why? Angle at center equals 2 times angle at circumference. Okay. Angle at center is twice angle at circumference. But I have I answered the question? No. no. So what can we say a B is equal to? 40. Why? Alternate. See that Z going this way? So that angle has to be equal to that angle. You understand people? Yes. So let's write that down. We have to say that angle B is equal to 40 degrees. Why? It's alternate angles with OA being parallel to BC. So have I not done this yet? So we say since angle B is equal to 2 times 20 which is 40. This was your angle A here, not so. So therefore, angle B is double angle. Make sense people? Something like this is worth 2. Three, four, five, five more. Yes. Who's talking? Okay, yes. Sorry? No. The only time we do a construction is when? Who can tell When we're proving the theorem, then we have a construction. Yeah! Listen, this is an application of the theorem. If we prove the theorem, which is angle at center twice angle circumference, or perpendicular from center to court by six to court, when we prove those things, then we have a construction. Was that what you're confused about? Yes, no, men. Okay. What do you get now? Physics. Physics, right, it's fine. So you'll understand. Listen, 9.2. Homework? No, that's also fine. I'm just worried about Afrikaans, no? that anti. No, maybe. Listen, 9.2 is your homework. So just let's go through this quickly. Uh, 1A, you see an angle at center, twice angle at circumference. You see that? B, angle at center, twice angle at circumference. C, you see a 110? C is half of that. D is half of that. Can you see the relationship here? Right, let's go to D. E is. 200. Can you see that? Angle at center. The angle at center is always the bigger one. Okay. E. You see here? There's 120. So what can we calculate here? If. Why? Angle at center is twice angle circumference. So if it's 240. How do you calculate G? Revolution. So it's 360 minus 240. How do you calculate H? But G is in relation to H. If. 
the eagle goes straight into J. J and K is the same. Angles opposite equal sides. And then that's a nice one there to look at. G. M is double uh, 50. Not so. And N is in that corner and in this corner here. Not so. Angles opposite equal sides. Some of triangles. Okay, so I want you guys to do the whole exercise 9.2. Okay. People enjoy the weekend. Good morning, class. Is it afternoon? Hehe. Oh, ne la, ne? Le. You ne le. Now you see, you make me confused. Now I say oh ne la, and then you say no, it's now ne le. So now I'm going to forget. You did say oh ne la, but she say oh oh ne le. That's why I say. Oh, Nella. <laughs>